Hello friends, this is Scott. The last time I was down at the hobby farm, it looked like this. We had snow melting and the garden beds were ready for planting. So I was looking forward to getting going on the outside gardening season and discontinuing the uh, interior remodeling. But as I left town, I was driving into the belly of the beast, a big storm coming in. I'm not sure how that was going to impact Salt Lake City as well as down here at the hobby farm. So this is the impact. Uh, next trip down, I had this much snow and it's hard to tell exactly how much is there, but it's clear to say that it's a good 10, 12 inches and it definitely delays the start of spring planting season down here. So I got it all shoveled and decided to get in and, and do my best to try to get everything else done that I'm going to do because, again, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of inside work, and I'm in, enthusiastic and motivated to get outside and uh, start making this, uh, this hobby farm an actual hobby farm and not just a couple planting beds here and there. So I uh, got lazy, though. I only shoveled to not even to the street. <laughs> so anyway... This is the last room I'm doing this this winter, and this is the cat room. And as you see, I got all the pieces cut up, and I got one of the cat doors patched. Again, my cuts are not the greatest, but as you see, as I go around, there's a yeah, there's a few gaps there. But again, you don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be a great carpenter to to make this all work, thanks to you know caulking and painting, and uh, it'll all look pretty sharp. But got it all taped up and caulked up, and ready for paint and it looked pretty good as I did the first and second coats of paint and I got all the way around the front door or at least the entrance door into the into the cat room got that done I had to pop the door off so I could paint around the hinges and all that stuff so I got the door off and yeah it looks pretty good as you see all my poor carpentry doesn't really matter because uh, it, it cleans up pretty nice but I got got it all ready to paint and got it all done all the way around the the whole room and again it's a pain when you have furniture so I wish I would have done this before I had furniture down here but as I've explained before my timetable was to get this place livable so we could use it and uh, this was my son's room when he came down and he didn't come down a lot but I needed to have some furniture in here for him and uh, so we I just worked around the furniture but again pulled the tape after painting and yeah as you see here all those bad cuts are or not even noticeable. Still have to do some wall work uh, on that cat door, but yeah, not too shabby. I did take the vent cover off again and paint it black because I'd scrap, scraped a lot of the paint off uh, moving furniture around. So got that spray painted all nice and black, but I still had the closet to do, uh, the header, and I needed to pull those closet doors off uh, so I could also paint where the hinges go. So it's feeling pretty pleased with the progress. And uh, again, I'm tired of, you know, my mood was definitely not the most positive. I did cut the trim out for the closet. It's a rough cut. And there's some places in the closet are a little bit troublesome. I had to shim one area that was sticking out a little bit. But as you can start to see, I've got a little bit of an issue that I've got to take care of. And the first issue is that I've got uh, the last little piece that came apart. So this isn't nailed in, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the reason I didn't nail it in, and I'm going to show you here in a second, but I need to reattach that piece, but I have this problem. I somehow chipped the floor. I have no idea because I haven't been in this closet. I've just been storing stuff. So I don't know. But it's an easy fix. I just pulled the floor apart and, and took that piece out. And luckily, it was just one piece, so not a big deal. I did, a, having not done flooring for a while, it took me two cuts because I cut it backwards the first time. But anyway, got it all the trim reinstalled. Got the, the floor patched and the trim reinstalled, and it looks pretty good. As you see here, there's, look, Mom, no more hole in the floor. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. And, again, I am tired of interior work. But uh, here's a final look as I was leaving town. And uh, this is as far as I'm going to do this year. Uh, the next trip down, my wife and I are going to go down and just enjoy the place. We may go down in the basement and start messing around with some of that stuff. But I don't even know if I want to film any of that yet. I'm kind of just burned out and kind of just ready to, to get on with gardening projects. And we have tons of gardening stuff to do in Salt Lake, and there's no snow on the ground or very little here. So, yeah, I need to get outside, and I'm going to start showing you gardening content a lot more. And hopefully this is the last interior video until uh, late fall when I, the weather forces me back inside the hobby farm. And I can continue to uh, continue my work in uh, remodeling the rest of this home. But right now, the upstairs for what we need of it is all done, except for this area where we're all start is the old laundry room and those you know, little accordion doors look kind of nice, but they don't, they're not the right size. They don't even fit tight. So I'm going to rip those off and I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But 
I'm pleased to that the weather is hopefully changing and I can get back to what I truly love at the same time and being able to enjoy a very nicely uh, uh, remodeled upstairs. Well, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned. We're going to do a lot of gardening here in the near future. Thanks.